Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about how to make quick and easy and relatively cheap hedgerows for your battlefields. As I mentioned in my previous video, when it comes to building scenery, um, I mean I've got different uh, scales, I've got 28mm, 20, 15, 12 and 6. I try my best to try and make them multi-use uh, because who really has the space to have all the different scenery for all the different scales. So the first method that I use is Scotch Bright, the type of thing that you buy um, in your hardware store or food shop just for cleaning the kitchen. And then <clears throat> usually I'll choose the middle level. Um, so that'll be about a 15 to 20 mil figure. And then I'll make my scenery suit that so, uh, size or scale. And then most of the others it does work. Uh, once you've chopped to scale, I kind of break it up a little bit using my fingers and thumbs, but not too badly. Uh, the first method is very Billy basic. Chop them to the right size, get a popsicle stick, which I spray paint black to start with, and then using hot glue, just stick down the scotch bride onto it, and then I'm just taking off the edges of the hot glue which uh, stuck out. So it's quite a straightforward process overall. Probably a better way of doing it than I've shown here would be to actually base using your flocks the stick first um, and then you could just stick your hedge down on top of it but either way it's completely fine. The next step with, uh, which I'm going to show is completely optional you don't need to do it but I think it does give a nice effect so if you want to put a little bit of extra time in get some PVA or Mod, Mod Podge uh, doesn't really matter which one and then just paint that all over the scotch brights give it a pretty good coating because uh, yeah you want the flock which is going to be the next stage to stick over the whole thing so coat it up well and then once it's fully coated we're going to get our box of flock. Really when it comes to flock it's kind of up to you what grade you're going to use. For my one I've mixed in some larger chunks into it so as you can see in there there's some bits of sawdust as well as the basic green um, and I think that gives it quite a nice effect but ultimately it's entirely up to you and what you prefer to do. Uh, so yeah stick it on, push it into all the gaps, make sure you get a nice, nice covering and then you end up with a nicely textured hedge. Now the third method of building trees is to actually buy some clump foliage. Uh, you could make it but I think probably buying it slightly easier and gives you a slightly better effect in the end. Uh, I use two different colours, a dark green and a light green and quite literally you've got your popsicle stick again, hot glue and then just stick clumps of the foliage onto it. I like to break it up a little bit and go dark then light you could put some stones in there, um, yeah, or anything really. You could make a little bit of hedgerow, uh, sorry, a little bit of fencing. Uh, really, the sky's the limit in regards to how you want your hedges to look. At this stage, really, it's time to just allow the PVA to dry. Then, same as when I was doing the trees, I drip on some isopropyl alcohol onto them all. Uh, that's just to break the surface tension. And then, as soon as I'm finished doing that, I then have my watered down PVA, which I'll then drip on as well. And then, when that sets, it just locks all the flock into place, and you have a lot less of a dropping off than you would otherwise. So, it's not a step that you have to do. Um, I didn't used to do it, but since I started doing it I've really grown accustomed to it and it does make a good difference. If you get everything ready beforehand, all of the methods could probably be completed in 10 minutes apart from the drying time. Uh, it's very quick and very easy, so you could quite quickly in an hour or so in front of the TV have more hedges than you could ever need. And here we have the finished products when they're dry. Overall, it's a pretty quick process. Uh, Again, 
if you've just got one scale, just make them for that scale. If you've got multiple scales, I think doing it the uh, bracketing method, finding that middle, and then just go off of that middle scale works well, or at least for me. Anyway, that pretty well does it for this time, guys. Thanks for watching. Always appreciate all of your support. If there's anything that you'd like to see me build next, please comment below. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and see you next time.